Hi, are you interested in alcohol markers? Well, if you're watching this video, you probably are, and you might be wondering if there is another brand, apart from Copic Markers, that can be more affordable but bring you similar results. So today we're going to compare the top brand, which is Copic, with Spectrum Noir, which is a very well-established brand from the UK. Alcohol markers are a great medium for coloring and I use them all the time for my cards. Before I had Copic markers, I was using Spectrum Noir. Back then, they only had the classic one color marker, but a while ago, they came out with something called three blend markers, where you have three colors in one marker. Actually, it's three shades or tones of the same color. So you have a light, a medium, and a dark, and they blend very well together. Now there is a newer version of these markers and instead of a bullet tip, you can have them with a brush tip, which is really nice. So I'm going to show you these markers side by side with the Copics. I'm going to color a little bit with both of them and then you can see if you like them or not. So here you can see both markers, to the right is the Copic markers, to the left the Tree Blend Spectrum Noir. The black one has a bullet tip, the grey one has a brush tip. Copic markers come in one color and you can see the number and the name of the color written on the cap. Also on the side you have an indication of what kind of tip you have on each side. If you would like to change one of the tips for a bullet tip, you can do that now because they sell them separately, but keep in mind that's going to, going to be an extra cost. On the Tree Blend Spectrum Noir markers, you will find the name of the color blend on the side of the marker, together with the codes for each of the colors included in this particular marker. It's a combination of two letters and one number. As I said, this black one comes with a bullet tip, and you will also find the name of the color blend written on the cup. The grey marker comes with a brush tip, and I'm really satisfied with this brush. It is soft and sturdy at the same time, and it just feels really nice coloring with it. If you're wondering what will happen if you run out of one of the colors of the tree blend markers, there are refillers or reinkers, as there are reinkers for the Copic markers. Now, of course, you will get more ink on one Copic marker than you will get on each of the colors of the tree blend markers because the compartment for the ink is smaller on the tree blend markers. However, at some point you're going to need refills for both of them. These are the instructions for the tree blend markers and it says you should apply the light color of the whole area first, then the dark color for the shadows, then the medium color and finish with the light color again. And here you can see a little chart I created. On the outside, you'll find the Spectrum Noir colors and on the inside, uh, you can find the copy colors that I chose to match as much as possible the Spectrum Noir color. I did this to be fair when it comes to the comparison, but I actually couldn't really match them 100% because I don't even have the whole collection of Copic markers and I had to choose some colors that I wouldn't normally use myself. I mean, I wouldn't choose those colors and blend them together. But I'm more interested uh, that you see how the Spectrum Noir perform, because we all know that the Copic markers perform very well. And I also wanted to say that as long as you're using an alcohol marker that is a quality one, uh, even if it's not the best, you can do great things with them. I mean, just because you have the most expensive uh, alcohol markers on the market, that's not going to automatically make you color better or make your coloring better. I think, in my opinion, the technique and practicing is more important than having the more expensive expensive supplies. And that's a, this applies for everything, for, for alcohol markers, for watercolor, mark, for watercolor um, inks, I don't know, for, for anything. So I'm going to leave you now with the music so you can watch how these markers work.
and here you can see the results side by side on the right side the images colored with copic markers on the left side the images colored with spectrum noir i think the ones with spectrum noir look better but that's only because as i said the colors that i had to choose for the copics were a bit weird and sometimes difficult to blend and i also think they were too dark so I'm not saying that uh, one is better than the other. I don't even have to say anything about Copic markers because they are the best brand. That's I'm not going to discuss that. But when it comes to the Spectrum Noir, my conclusion is that they are a really good alternative if you don't want or, or you cannot afford Copic markers. And I also love the idea of having three colors in one marker. I have to say, I totally love the brush ones. Unfortunately, they don't have all the colors in the, with the brush version that they have with the bullet version, but I'm, ho I'm hoping they will make more of the brush ones. And I don't have much more to say. My opinion is that this is a really, really good marker. Now it's, it is up to you to decide if you like them or not. And that's all from me today. I hope it was useful. And if you like this kind of videos and would like to see more, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching. And you can also become a subscriber if you want. If you do so, and even if you are already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a great day and see you again soon. Bye.